So at the end of the first half, they made a run, and then the second half, they just kept coming. You guys couldn't stop it. What, what happened there? Uh, we just took our foot off the gas mindset, you know, and they just got confidence. And at that point, it's tough to beat anybody when they got it rolling. How do you not let that happen? 30-point lead, it, it seems like you guys should close this one out. Just mindset, just being aggressive, taking each play. Um, not for granted. I think we just we was up 30 and kind of um, took our foot off the gas and cost us. Similar, similar situation against Cleveland. You mentioned mindset after that game too. What do you have to develop in a spot like this to be able to pull yourself out of this? And what's the most difficult part of that? Um, just taking every possession, um, you know, handling it, you know, the right way. I think that you know we got a little casual. We got a little distracted, and it cost us. Crunch time, you know, it's one point game late there. Um, how do you feel like that went? And, you know, where do you feel like you guys are in those kind of spots, especially you and Jason as the ball handler? Uh, I feel like we had some good looks. I just feel like we didn't get a stop. I didn't love the last shot that we got. I think we kind of waited too late. I was waiting for the action to kind of develop. Um, but, you know, the clock was winding down. It was, we were taking too much time. and. I didn't really like the last shot that, uh, that I got on the right wing, but other than that, I feel like we got some good looks for, um, outside of you know, some of the turnovers um, that we had, but you know, that's something that we definitely will continue to work on. At the beginning of the game, Joe puts basically you and JT as the point guards. Like You got no point guards out there in the starting lineup. That never really happened, so how do you feel like you guys handled like, having to run the entirety of the offense? Um, could have been better. I think it was uh, good to start. Not so good to finish. Um, just getting organized, getting everybody where we got to go. That's something that you know um, we were responsible for tonight. And towards the second half, towards the third quarter, fourth quarter, um, you know they had it rolling, and it was they put a lot of pressure on our on our defense and offense. So um, uh, we could have done a lot better, basically. You guys always talk about mindset stuff whenever it's really positive or negative about what makes this team look good. So. You know, you've said mindset like five times so far in this presser. What do you feel like you guys need at this point of the year since you already have all the talent, you already have all the system worked out? Yeah, I mean, I think we we have the right approach. We've had the right approach. Tonight wasn't the best example of that. You know, we kind of, you know, took our uh, hands off the steering wheel a little bit. Um, and no matter we up 30 or, you know, we, or we down five, uh, we got to have the same approach and same mindset. And, and that's going to be a challenge for us going into the last home stretch of the season, you know, knowing that you know, we secured you know, the Eastern Conference and, and number one seed, but we still got to work on us. Are you looking forward to going back and watching the film from this and seeing where you guys can improve in those areas? Absolutely. I think like, stuff like this is good um, to, to, to watch and see and learn and inspire and motivate. So uh, we need to learn from our mistakes, and hopefully that puts a battery in our back coming out. Uh, next game. Seems like this game, regardless of how good you guys are, never stops teaching lessons. Like, even when you don't think you need lessons. Is this one of those examples? Yes, this is a prime example of that. You know, on any given night, no matter how good or what the level of a team is, if you don't come ready to play, and they do, uh, you get your butt kicked. And in the second half, that's what we did. You mentioned that you guys have clinched the number one spot in the East. What kind of accomplishment is that? Um, I think it's a blessing. It's still, you know, very hard to do, um, especially uh, you know, as you are, you know, maneuvering in this league, being able to clinch the number one seed, and it's just a, it's a great feeling. You know, it doesn't feel so great after a loss, um, you know, after being up 30, but still, in hindsight, you know, still we're on track to doing what we want to do. Take it, Jill.